When trying to source materials from overseas, Alibaba is a great place to start. Not only can you find thousands of items, but you can also find suppliers with reliable track records and ratings. But sorting through all the listings to find the best supplier for your business can take a lot of time, and you sure don't want to make a hasty decision about a key component of your business. This is where a web scraper can help. A web scraper can easily extract all the information you need from a website into a convenient spreadsheet for further analysis. In this case, we will use Parsehub, a free and powerful web scraper that can easily scrape data from Alibaba. You can download it for free through the link in the description or at parsehub.com. For this example, we will pull information from Alibaba's search results page for the term phone case. Now, we'll walk you through the process of how to scrape Alibaba product data into a spreadsheet. In Parsehub, click on New Project and submit the URL that you will be scraping. Once submitted, the URL will be rendered in Parsehub and you'll be ready to select your first element to extract. Start by clicking on the name of the first product on the page. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. The rest of the product names will now be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second one in the list to select them all. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to product. Using the plus sign next to your product selection, choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the first product name and then on its price. An arrow will appear to indicate the selection. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to price. Repeat the previous steps to create new relative select commands to extract additional product data, such as minimum order sizes, seller's age, country, seller name, review score, number of reviews, and response rate. Up to this point, your project should look like this. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. Now there might be additional product information you'd want to scrape from within the actual product pages. First, we'll have to tell Parsup to click on the title of each listing on the page. To do this, we will use the plus sign next to the product selection and choose the click command. A click setup screen will appear asking you if this is the next page button. Click on no, select create new template, and name your new template product page. Then click on the create new template button. Parsub will now render the first product page and let you select new data to extract. For this example, we will scrape information from the quick details table. We will start by selecting the first label in the table. Doing this will highlight this first label in green. The rest of the labels will now be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second one to select them all. Rename the selection to labels. Now expand the label selection and remove the begin new entry in labels command. Now use the plus sign next to your label selection to add a conditional command command. You will have to expand this menu to show the command. For our first condition, we will use this, which will filter out the brand name. Now use the plus sign next to the conditional command and use the relative select command to select the text next to the brand name label. You can now copy and paste your condition to extract additional fields. Just make sure to update the conditional expression and drag the elements so that they are not nested within themselves. Parsub is now extracting info for every product on the first page of results. Let's now set it up to extract information from the second page and onwards. Using the tabs on the left side of the application, return to the main template. You might also need to use the browser tabs to return to the search results page. Using the plus button next to your page selection, choose the select command. Use this command to select the next page button at the bottom of the page. Rename your selection to next. Expand your new next selection and remove the extract command underneath it. Now use the plus button beside your next selection and choose the click command. A click setup window will appear asking you if this is the next page button. Click yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat this process. In this case, we will repeat it four more times. Your project is now ready. To run your scrape, click on the get data button in the left sidebar and select run. Now, Parsub is off to collect the data that you've requested. You'll receive an email notification once your scrape is complete. Once it's complete, you'll be able to download it as an Excel spreadsheet. Having access to this valuable information can be the difference between starting your business on the right foot and selecting the wrong supplier. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.